Hello everyone. I have some good news. I am back at school. So this is in the office and I'm going to be reading to you from uh, the book that's about today, which is September 11th. And the book is called Eleven by Tom Rogers. There are several others that I could have chosen. Uh, for instance, Tower Falling or 910, excellent middle school books on the topic. There's some other ones that are out there that we also own in our library, but today this one, it was the one book, one school choice that we had last year. I also have a recording in a podcast that's about the true story of 9-11, the day the world came to town, 9-11, and it's, uh, it was written by Jim um, Defeaty. So if you're interested in hearing that story, you can check out my podcast, which is on SoundCloud, and it is um, under From the Halls of Furnace Brook. So here we go. 11. By Tom Rogers. This book is dedicated to those who perished in the attacks of September 11th, 2001, and to all the courageous first responders, supporters, survivors, volunteers, families, neighbors, and communities who came together in this tragedy and showed us all the better angels of our nature. Chapter 1 A Dog, Monday, 5 39 p.m. All his life, Adog wanted to be a hero. Now his time had come. Five seconds ago, Adog had been seated squarely in the cockpit of his F-16, guiding it with ease as it knifed through the air. Then everything changed. The enemy plane came out of nowhere. Adog reacted on pure instinct. The missile clipped his wing as he pulled up hard on the yoke and rolled into an inverted dive that flipped the horizon over putting the buildings above and the sky below, and turning his whole world upside down. The daredevil maneuver worked. When he straightened out, he'd lost his pursuer. He was trailing smoke and leaking fuel. He checked his gauges. If he tucked his tail and ran away, he'd just have enough juice to make it back to base. Or he could make the ultimate sacrifice and do what had to be done. He glanced at the photo of his dog, tucked into the instrument panel. The dog gazed back, loyal, proud, and brave. Maybe it was his mind playing tricks, and the G-forces sloshing his brain around, but A-Dog was sure he saw his dog nod. A-Dog knew what he had to do. He banked sharply and swung back into the fight. He was face to face with the enemy plane across a three-mile gap, on a collision course and closing fast. He brought the crosshairs into focus on his target. A tone sounded, radar lock, and then a voice crackled in his headset. Okay, hotshot, time's up, bring it in. Not yet, I have a job to do. You know the rules. A dog knew the rules, but today the rules went out the window. His glove tightened on the stick. His thumb brushed the red firing button. The other plane fired first. Fire! A dog stabbed his thumb down. His airplane shook as a missile leaped off the wing, riding a trail of flame. A dog banked away, straining to see behind him. Did he get the job done? Was he about to be a hero? He twisted in the cockpit, desperate to see what happened. And then everything went black. So that was a very misleading first chapter because it sounds like it's possibly an adult who's in the throes of a battle, but in reality, it's a student who is about to turn 11 and he's always wanted a dog, doesn't have one, but somehow things tend to work out in this book. It's all about community. It is absolutely believable and realistic, so there there is going to be sadness in the book, um, but it involves sharing the story, the true things that happened at September 11th um, in a fictional version that helps people understand at this age level and is um, very positive in how it wraps things up and, and how it shows the hope 
where our communities bonded to get through something tough. So um, I hope that this September 11th is meaningful for you, and I hope that I see you again next week.